Hello everyone, it's Chelsea from Paper Rock Tio Studio. Today I'm sharing with you a gift that I made for a friend using inexpensive ceramic fired mugs from, I don't know, probably Tuesday morning or the dollar store or Pier 1 or something. And um, <clears throat> they're just plain white. And I wanted to decorate them in something that I've seen, on, seen around and on Pinterest and here and there. And this is my first attempt at it, so bear with me. <laughs> but um, I watched a few videos on YouTube doing it. And there was a couple, well, I saw several different methods. And so I wanted to try a few of them. The first thing I did was clean the mug really well with rubbing alcohol in a paper towel just to make sure there wasn't any oils or dirt anywhere on it so that the alcohol ink would adhere to it. That's an important step because you know we touch things and our hands have oils on them even though they might seem dry they're not. They're, they have oils and they get on stuff and that could interrupt the flow of the ink. Uh, then I decided to try this pouring method that I saw someone doing and I I don't know which, I watched several videos and I don't know which ones are which, but if you just search alcohol ink on ceramic, you'll find different people's videos out there. I'm definitely not an expert here. So I put some rubbing alcohol in a used cup. Um, I'm just recycling these plastics and using them in my studio instead of buying something new. It's a yogurt cup that I've washed. And then I put a couple drops of a couple different colors, uh, magenta, bright pink, and some orange into the alcohol and kind of swished it around. And then I'm just pouring it over the cup um, at the bottom. I don't want any design up around where your mouth is. So the top of the cup will be completely remaining white. So I was just pouring that and pouring it. And then I decided it really wasn't that intense of a color. so. I would use the alcohol ink directly on it. I've got some different brands. I have the Ranger brand. I have some Pinata, and I also have some Marabou. And they all seem to have different smells, so I assume that they have somewhat different formulations. But to me, it's all the same. I don't care what brand it is. I'm just picking colors, and I want to do pink and orange on this one. So I've got terracotta from ranger i've got magenta from uh marabou i've got shell pink from ranger i've got bright pink from pinata or it might be called magenta maybe and then i also have a bronze like a coppery bronze color from the marabou that i'm going to put on as a metallic so i just keep going i know it's kind of hard to see from the top what i'm doing I didn't have a better angle to film this really. Um, generally, my things are flat on the desk, and so when I do 3D things, it's kind of weird. I know that. But I'm just continuing to add inks from the bottle and also using that pouring method. Uh, I have some 97% alcohol in a little spritz bottle that I occasionally spritz or dab on there to make, you know, little spots now i'm getting out the metallic i don't want to waste this stuff so i end up playing around with it a little bit in a minute i don't know when probably not yet but anyway i made some very bright pink papers to use in collage later i mean bright bright pink i guess the combination of all the different colors mixed with that alcohol ended up in almost fluorescent pink so now I'm adding the metallic bronze because I, I wanted an, uh, a warm color and a little bit of sparkle. I could have used gold, but I decided to use the bronze because, you know, I'm a copper girl. So <laughs> I thought that that type of a color would work well with this. I'm just applying it directly to the cup and letting it drip down. And um, yeah, just trying to get a design I like. Mine didn't turn out the same as anyone else's that I saw. Um, I'm not sure why, but I like how it came out. 
So these these will be sealed with some stuff called Mod Podge Dishwasher Safe. And that's a whole nother thing. A whole nother thing. That's what was recommended on this little group that I'm in for this type of project. I think they're probably hand wash only. Um, maybe something like this would be better for like a, a pencil holder or uh, something that you put a plant in or something like that. I'm not sure it's going to be really great for a mug, for a coffee mug, but I had, I had these and I wanted to try it. So we'll see. I'm going to give them to my friend and we'll see how she comes out with them. <laughs> They're pretty. They're very pretty, but I'm not sure the design, even with that dishwasher safe stuff on the top is going to, to uh, hold up. It sa says if you put that stuff on there, it's supposed to be top rack dishwasher safe. I, I'm doubtful. I'm very doubtful. So I continue to mess with it. I Every time I look at it, I'm thinking, eh, is it bright enough? Is it cool enough? I don't know. I continue to mess with it. It's just how I am. Maybe I should have stopped. I got it really mushed together on that one side and it was very bright. So then I had to put some, some dabs of alcohol ink uh, to get that bright section broken up. I wanted to keep the bottoms clean, so I'm cleaning. If if you don't like the design, if you did something that you don't like, you can always wipe the whole thing off with some rubbing alcohol on a um, paper towel, kitchen roll, whatever you call it, and just start over. I didn't do that, but I could have. Now I'm just, just touching the, uh, you know, I have that spritz bottle. I pull out the, the top of the spritz bottle and just use the bottom and just dab. And it, it makes little dots or, you know, the alcohol spreads the alcohol ink out and gives you a little bit of white space relief to um, your, you know, if you got too much in one area. So here I am just soaking up some of that extra ink. I spilled it on the table. And this is a piece of packaging. It's kind of a, almost like a glossy cardstock or something that was in a package that I had. And I just happened to have it on the desk. I figured I would soak up some of that alcohol ink uh, mixed with alcohol, mixed with different colors, just to use it up, not waste it. So I made a few pieces of paper. I just wanted to show you. It, as you heat set it, it changes colors. When I first put it on there, it's kind of this orangey fluorescent. And then when I heat set it, trying to dry it up quickly so that I can move on to the next cup, uh, it changes colors as it dries. But anyway, that'll be an interesting collage piece. It'll definitely be permanent. So I do clean these up with alcohol uh, on a paper towel to make sure that there's no alcohol ink from my fingers on the inside of the cup or the top of the cup or the bottom of the cup. Uh, just I only want it in areas that you probably won't be touching much because I'm trying to, you know, make it so that it will uh, be usable. They're large cups, probably, I don't know, a 16 or 18 ounce and they're called, they're called latte cups and they're from a company called Threshold. But I couldn't tell you exactly where I got them. I know that they were inexpensive, though. So then I put some of that uh, higher content alcohol in a clean cup. And I'm using a, a water brush, just empty, an empty water brush. I just want to use those bristles to kind of add some more white space and design to my design by... Uh, spreading it on and cleaning up some of the alcohol, cleaning off some of the alcohol, just to make it more interesting. It's just, it's fun to have design. And on this one, I just kept putting ink on there. <laughs> and I got some areas that really are completely covered, like um, no white space at all. So I'm using this method to kind of clean up and uh, straighten out and highlight with the idea of removing the ink with the brush and some straight alcohol and 
as you can see, it's working because the alcohol in my cup is getting more and more and more orangey pink as I do it. And I keep wiping off the bristles on a little scrap of paper towel as well. Pretty fun. Hard to see what I'm doing from the top. I'm sorry about that. I wish that I had filmed this in a better way, although I'm not sure what that would be. Maybe putting a small tripod on my phone and filming it from the side, maybe. I, I don't know. This this isn't um, this isn't the best. <laughs> you can kind of see what I'm doing, but not so well. I just wanted to share this project with you. Um, I really do consider myself a maker and I like to make gifts at the holiday time, whether it's uh, packaging for gifts or whether it's actually making art or um, gifts like this, craft type things to give to people. I, I think that putting your, your skills and your heart into a gift and making something handmade is more special than buying something because as I'm doing this, I'm thinking about the person. I'm thinking about the colors that they like. I'm thinking about, you know, will they think this is cool? Will they like it? Uh, how useful will it be? You, you really, when you're making something for someone, really have them in your mind as you're doing it. And I think that's special and something everyone should do. Even if it's, you know, maybe you knit or crochet, a scarf or a blanket. Maybe you know how to do that. I don't. <laughs> um, maybe you even write a poem or a letter to someone. It's just taking the time to think about the person as you're creating something to give them is is important. Maybe you make a coupon book for, you know, time spent with them. Those things are all super important, I think, especially in this day of an age of uh, we text people you know we don't even talk to them we text them so yeah here's some pictures that give you an idea what they look what the cup looks like so I have a second cup that I bought I you know I bought these a long time ago and I meant to do this project a few years ago and never did it <laughs> I see something and then I'm like oh I'm gonna do that and I I start to plan to do it and then end up forgetting or not doing it or whatever so this time I have some uh, little spray bottles that I mixed archival reinker from ink pads into the alcohol and made kind of like an alcohol spray just as an experiment and I just dumped this greenish one um, into the cup and decided to do the pouring thing start out this one out with the pouring thing I got a little bit out of control there. My pouring got too high on the cup. <laughs> and so I wiped it off. You can always wipe it off. Don't like it. <laughs> or if you get something somewhere you don't want. That's the nice thing about alcohol ink. It's um, wipe offable if you're doing it on a non-porous surface. If you do it on a porous surface, it, well, it's not going to come out. It's going to soak into whatever porous surface you put it on. I also just learned when I was looking through alcohol ink techniques that you can actually paint alcohol ink on canvas if you use something called Kills 2. It's like a, a paint that you seal uh, the canvas with and then it makes it non-porous and you can paint alcohol ink paintings on canvas. I always thought you had to do it like on uh, non-porous like Upo or something like that, a plastic or a whatever, uh, for paintings. Uh, I've seen a lot of people paint really cool paintings, and I, I always thought they were doing it on Yupo or one of those type of things. But apparently you can do it on canvas too. I found that out when I was looking on YouTube for different alcohol ink things. So yeah, pretty fun. So I got out uh, some other colors. I have apple green, from Marabou. I have, I think it's called teal or turquoise from Marabou. I have olive. Um, I think it's called olive from Ranger. I'm not sure I have a pinata one out. I might have a light blue pinata one out. Anyway, those are the three brands of alcohol inks that I have in my drawer. 
And you know what? There's lots of other alcohol inks coming out. People are making them and selling them uh, in droves right now. And every time I see a new brand, I know Hobby Lobby has Bria Reese, um, a ton of colors from Bria Reese alcohol inks. And I'm tempted by them, but gosh, I already have so many <laughs> and I don't, uh, I don't use them as much as I should. So I've been resisting buying any new, new ones, but I have seen those Bria Reese ones at Hobby Lobby just right there at Hobby Lobby just waiting. So I also have the silver metallic uh, from the Marabou ones out and I'm that's what I'm using as my metallic sparkle on this one which is greens and blues obviously as you can see. I'm cleaning up right now that's why I keep going off. I wanted to have kind of a watercolor effect. My other one has a very clean line at the top where I've like went kind of as in an arc across the cup. Um, I thought it would be interesting to try to make this more organic looking by um, trying to let it drip a little bit outside of the edges by turning the cup upside down and also by taking that clear alcohol along the tops of all those those very sharp lines and just trying to get them to blend, trying to get them to to spread out. And it worked pretty well. I, I think I like this one better than the other one. I'm not sure, but um, it worked pretty well. So yeah, I just keep uh, blending and mixing and trying to get this to drip in interesting ways, trying to get uh, less of a hard line at the top. This one kind of reminds me of the ocean <laughs> or underwater or something. I don't know. So I hope you guys are enjoying this video of my foray into trying to make alcoholic cups. <laughs> I wish that I had more expert and practiced information to give you. This is just my first time trying it. I like the effect. I'm not sure how permanent they will be um, without, you know, experimentation and putting the sealer on and then trying it. And I'm, I'm planning on giving them away. So I'll have to give you that information sometime later. I do think it would be fun to find some type of glass uh, or ceramic containers for plants or or brushes or something like that or pencils and um, make do do those as far as it actually being a mug and being very permanent we'll just have to see so if you have liked it make sure that you give it a thumbs up leave me a comment uh, or question below I'll try to answer a question I don't have that much information yet about this um, but I'll, I'll do my best if you would like to purchase these these types of inks um, I have an Amazon store link below the video that you can use and I bought the Marabou inks all in a big set from joggles.com I'm not affiliated with them that's where I bought them so um, yeah you can also of course share this on Pinterest or uh, Facebook and subscribe if you haven't already and all those things help my channel. So I'm just continuing with the brush, just trying to get all that stuff. Um, I'm trying to get little white areas of interest and then I'll probably put some of that silver metallic back in them. So yeah, there's the cups that I made for my friend. <laughs> she drinks a lot of coffee, way more than me. So you can see on this one, this blue one, how I tried to blend the tops to make it look more interesting. Uh, I was just going to show you this Mod Podge stuff. Uh, dishwasher safe, it's called. It says to roll it on the table to blend it and then to apply it with a soft brush. Um, I did that. I think that when I did, the cups were still too wet and it started to smear. So I just stopped. So I'll wait till they're much drier, but I, I'm going out of town, so I needed to finish this video. So here's the close-ups again. Thanks. Bye-bye.